The purpose of the flight of Apollo 7 could be stated very simply. Prove that the spacecraft command and service modules would function properly in space, long enough to carry men to the moon and back. Accomplishing this was considerably less simple. It meant showing that a brand new spacecraft, far more complicated than its predecessors, would operate so well it could be trusted to take men well beyond near-Earth orbit. Marshall Space Flight Center had spent years directing development and testing of the Saturn 1B launch vehicle, and it was not by chance that Apollo 7 was placed almost exactly on its planned trajectory into orbit about the Earth. Your got speed, Ice Apollo up. 7. Thrust is okay. Roger thrust. Roll. Roger. Roger. Roll. Very Flight early in the flight, the general pattern of go for Apollo 7 was established in a conversation between the spacecraft and mission control at the manned spacecraft center in Houston, Texas. Right on the old button. Very good. Flight booster. Go. We appear we may be slightly marginal on the rocks. Okay, stand by. Cut off. J2, cut off. Thrust is okay. Roger thrust. Roll. Roger roll. Very early in the flight, the general pattern of go for Apollo 7 was established in a conversation between the spacecraft and mission control at the manned spacecraft center in Houston, Texas. Right on the old button. Very good. Flight booster. Go. We appear we may be slightly marginal on the rocks. We'll keep Okay, alive. stand by. Cut off. J2, cut off. Then, as we were to see in some of the most dramatic film ever returned from space, the crew would settle down to a weightless life in a spacecraft with four times more room than Gemini. The astronauts became accustomed to their home high atop everything. They had a chance to evaluate it as a place to live and work in space. The quality of sleeping arrangements, the palatability of food, seemingly small items, but things of essential importance in a lunar mission. They even recorded the preparation of a drink for a meal. Farther and farther from Earth, Stafford, Young, and Cernan flew on their wingless flight. Now, off the rotating home planet, day and night became only a progression of minutes as the spacecraft rotated at three revolutions an hour. We're about to finish that uh, ambient thing and we're going to strike out. Today and tomorrow we should be around the moon. Right. 